Let's say you're looking out onto this uh, rather attractive scene out by the coast. This happens to be Pin Mill near, uh, near Ipswich in Suffolk. Actually, it's a, a famous painting spot. And you've got all kinds of shapes and compositions you could do. Well, how do you decide when you're assessing what might be a good way of framing the subject? Well, there's the good old um, time-honoured way of getting your fingers like this. Um, and with a bit of juggling around, you can, you can do this sort of thing. Uh, it's all right. It's all right. It can work. But here's a better idea. You get a piece of card. And I excuse, excuse me how scruffy this bit is, but I, I've used this for an awful long time. And... It just gets scrumpled up and taken with me in my painting gear. It's just a piece of card and I've, I've cut out with a pair of scissors a square shape and a rectangular shape. And uh, if I bring this a little bit closer to the camera, you can see if I hold this up to my eye, um, I can then start to make a more informed uh, decision as to whether this might make a good subject or or that, or, or maybe even uh, a vertical subject, maybe like that. Or if it's square, that I, I think might be interesting, then, oh, that's, that's got possibilities. So is that. Hmm, so is that. Maybe I come down a little bit, maybe I have more sky. But this little bit of card, so simple, is a really useful tool for getting your basic shape right.